Hello creative designers and welcome on today's story. My name is Peter. I don't today's story. We're just going to see how we can be able to hide add to add to cart part for specific product. And in this story, we're just going to have a checkout, a checkbox, and I'm just going to show you. We're not going to use any plugin, but this is a story that has been requested by has been requested by one of my viewers. And I felt it's good now. I just create the story for once you head over here and you say to deactivate like add to cart button here and you refresh for this product you'll be able to have the add to cart button for all the product but if you decide to activate here and you refresh here you find it just disappeared what if you just want to have for specific product it just be here inventory and you have this now the checkbox if you decide to uncheck this button here and you update this here you refresh on this product you find we have the add to cart button that's the story for today and I'm going to show you how you can be able to customize that and add the feature to your e-commerce website just simple way without you having to install any single plugin. That's the story for today and without further ado, let's just get into action and i show you how. So the first thing we just need to do, we need to head over to the dashboard and on the dashboard menu we have the button for the plugin. Hover on it, select a new because we need to install a new plugin. With that, you're directed to the plugin repository. We need to add a plugin that we just facilitated for us to be able to add the code. I highly recommend Code Snippet. It just worked easy for me. It just worked well for me. So I just need to search for Code Snippet. Here we have it. It's called Code Snippet from Code Snippet Pro. 700,000 active installation. We install the plugin. After successful installation of the plugin, we activate the plugin. And after successful installation of the plugin, all we just need to do, we head over here and on the dashboard menu, we have now the button for snippet. You can decide to add it from here or the activate uh, where you have all your uh, installed plugin. You can be able to see this button here. You can be able to use this one, but I'm just going to use the one for the dashboard, but it will work all the same. So I just need to work on a new snippet i will include the link on the description of where you can get the code the code is divided uh, on two portions the first one is one that you're going to add the checkbox and the other one is the code that is going to activate uh add the card button it will just activate uh you'll be able to have it in a simple product and also you can be able to have it in your variable products you can be able to hide for specific product even on variable product so the first thing we just need to do we need to add our checkbox so let me just copy this button here this text here and i head over here and i add the name here it's good to just add the name that you'll be able to uh remember so easy for you so i just come here and i just copy the first code here and the first code we just added is for the one that we add the checkbox if you head over here like let me just go to edit the product here now on the inventory you can click on the inventory you have the add uh, this button now uh, this checkbox here so if i activate if i just check it here right now like that and i update the product you find it won't work let me just open the product you still have the add cut button because we have not added the code that is going to hide the first code that we have just had added is the one that is adding this check uh, checkbox here. So we need now to add the we need now to add the code that will help us to hide the add card. So we need to head over back here. We need to add a new snippet and say hide add to card button. Like that, so we head over back here. The link on the description, copy the second code here and add it here, like that. With that, now we have added our code. And once we activate here, remember we had already ticked here. So once you refresh on this product, you see the add to cart button has been uh, hidden. Once we head over to the main shop. We try to find the product you see it had this did more button but this other product has a to cut button if you just like decide to open for the sanitizer you find it has the add to cut button 
what if we just head over back here and we try to hide for the hard sanitizer so we need to find it here here we have it i added the product here and i just need to head over here to the inventory and i check on this checkbox here and i update we need to refresh for our product and see if it worked well yeah you find it just appeared like that once we head over even back to the shop page you find even it does have it doesn't have the add to cart button that's how you can be able to hide add to cart button simple way without including uh without including a plugin to your website using that called simple code snippet i hope you did learn something out of this tutorial if you did learn something out of this tutorial hit the thumbs up remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and also subscribe to my newsletter i have introduced a newsletter in each and every page you can be able to just subscribe on that i'll be sending some newsletter on new updates and new calls once i uh once i post it just stay up to just stay up to date news on my latest post if you he loves me. Can they support me? Just my humble request. Till next time. Thank you.